Columbia, South Carolina. They call it the cockpit among Gamecock fans and local media here. I remember a game back against Florida in 2001 to the mic. Cohorts from ESPN said they couldn't hear each other with the comments in the press box. It was so loud. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Spangler has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they'll get him in the backfield. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Fountain is back to receive. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Maryland staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And he's taken down at the 48. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. That makes it first and ten. Nice run there. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. Offensive line's got to give him some time. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's looking for his man, and they're going to get somebody for interference on that play. Let's see who the call is on. Referees agree that the receiver was the one who got too much of a push off. Yeah, sometimes people forget the receiver is held up to the same standards as a defender when it comes to getting separation. They line up at the 10. First down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. 
They'll bring him down at the 22. That makes it second and eight. Looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Across midfield. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. To it and gets a good five yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 20. He's got an opening. And he's tackled after positive yardage. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. him hard at the 14. First down here, Brad, by this offense. The receiver's running the football. you got to think as a defensive coordinator, it's one thing to try to defend it, kind of your, your, your traditional offensive attack. But here you got to start worrying about what is this wide receiver going to do. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense and the defensive mindset on how they want to try to slow this offense down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Down he goes, the seven-yard line. Gain of two on one play. That makes it third and three. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. Here we go, out. Here we go, out. Let's go. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings us South Carolina is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gamecocks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Fires incomplete. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six on the play. Third down. 
On the ground, up the middle. Gets to about the 44-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's hit and taken down. And he's tackled around the 28 yard line. That's a deal of nine in the way. That brings up second and nine. Makes the first down catch. And he's level at the 22 yard line. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And they make the stop at the 13. He gets rid of this one. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. They run it left. Tackle just outside the goal line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. He's tackled at the one. He laterals the ball. Touchdown, Maryland! And he tacks on the extra point. A 13-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now... 7-3, Maryland lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. The Terrapins are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like Makes the catch and look out. And he is drilled at the 47. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and one. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Now 
he's scrambling. He might not be able to get the pass off. They'll bring him down at the 23. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. He has some room. Makes it to the 11. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. After a decent pickup. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Scrambling around. It's on the ground. Picks up the fumble. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-3, Terrapin. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Maryland is up four. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's good First down. Hands it off. Good tackle there in space. Nice run, and he's brought down. Steps out around the 48-yard line. Brown will be the return man. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Makes it out to about the 30. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He decides to run with it. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Let's go! Throws complete, and he's hit right away.
He's scrambling. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Tack on any yardage. That's good for the game of seven yards. That makes it four inches. Mike 18, Mike 18. Ready, green the knock. They'll get him for a loss, and they'll take over on downs. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Maryland holds a four-point lead. Bumble Picks up the loose ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 33. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Spangler awaits the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Run right and hit in the backfield. Loss of four yards on the That brings up second and 13. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. is back to receive. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Maryland's offense curtain may be not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now it's been running the football, and it's working. Maryland is up by four. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. it into coverage and it's intercepted 
And down he goes at the 27. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From the 27-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback. They go to the left for a nice game. He fights forward to about the 19. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up so it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver is getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That makes it second and Maryland is up four. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Number three makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. First down. Rifles it left. The senior makes the catch. And a huge touchdown play. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down. It came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And he's tackled at the 46. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. 
First and ten. Ball on the 46. They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Loose football. The defense scoops it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. Here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. was the intended target on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Fountain is the deep man awaiting the return. <laughs> the Terrapins right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now... As we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 40-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at about the 45. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Brown, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Got a man, watch out here. Steps out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 23-yard line. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. McDowell gets the call. He's tackled at the 31. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. We've got a first and ten. Ball number 31. Gets it out quickly. And he's level at the 34. Now he 
he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 39. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. The Terrapins in front by 11. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loved that first half. Lots of big plays, explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm, glad, you, I'm guys, glad you've noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I no, wanted one side in the I'd, first half. I'd like to notice more of it in the second half. And, and it's it's as simple. When, when a wide receiver catches a slant at seven yards and takes it 70, there's a problem. Somebody needs to hit the guy. Somebody needs to be a little bit physical. Somebody needs to be willing to tackle the guy and bring him to the ground. Too many missed tackles, too many explosive plays. And if you play defense like that, you should probably look in behind you and say, I think I'm going to get the other guy in because he's got to be better than this guy to start. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He's to the 40. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He fights forward to around midfield. Gets out to around the 38. He's at the 20, the 10. He finally goes down at the six. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Nice run there. They line up in the jumbo set. And the snap goes to the back. Touchdown, Terps. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Maryland's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He steps out at the 34-yard line. for the first and he stops. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. Felton is back deep to return the punt. Felton fields at the 29. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He scrambled. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. The 10 makes it to the 5. That's a gain of 11. That makes it first and goal. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Maryland! And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 64-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 28-3.
He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina is having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 41. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First and 10, ball on the 41. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Well protected, now he's gonna run with it. He keeps it. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Short yardage situation here, it's second down and one. Takes the ball inside. Nice run there as they work the outside. They come out in a five wide set. And it's caught and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 41. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. Pitch is back. He fights forward to about the 36. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Ready. Bring the They'll work the left. And he is drilled at the 19. This play is number eight on the drive. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Green to the receiver, nothing doing. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
South Carolina has done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He passes it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws it, and it's tipped away. is in and it's picked off by the safety to the 20 to the 10 they're not done yet great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house man those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact They'll go for two in this situation. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback it's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him this quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes here's a counter losing yards Second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Got some open field. And he's taken down around the 31 yard line. Throws in a hurry. Tackle around the 37 yard line. He's tackled around the 27 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25. That's a gain of two on the way. That makes it first and 10. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 20. Makes the reception. Number 95 makes the tackle at the 20 yard line. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Play and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Oh, 
He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. He fights forward to about the seventh. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 28-14, Terrapin. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Well, this offense has got to be elated. This is what they had hoped for, a stop by their defense just to give them a chance. Fourth down, this one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Spangler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 37. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Diving for extra yardage. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He airs it out. He goes up, picked off. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 21-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. He fights forward to about the 26. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes to 37-yard line. Turn out here. 
He really got a hold of that one. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and seven. Ball on the 27. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45. He's scrambling. Brought down at about the 49. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 49 yard line. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. Flips it middle to the running back and he's tackled at the 47 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. at the 15-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. They come out in an empty backfield. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he converts the extra point. The kicker comes in to make the tackle. Hey, 
you know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Runs it left for a decent game. And they get nice yardage on that run. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. First the linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. They try running left, and they'll get him in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. South Carolina is going to take their first time out of the half. the middle for a nice game. The Gamecocks are going to call their second time out. Gets it out quickly. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Maryland with a first and goal and a big opportunity here to really open this game up. after a decent run up the gut. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Maryland! Big time touchdown on the ground for what looks to be the score that puts this one on ice. He makes the PAT. Spangler is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll make the sack. Just over a minute left. Spikes the ball. From their own 19-yard line, third down. He's out to the 30. Fires across the middle. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Mike nine, Mike nine. nine. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. From the 37-yard line, second down. Hands it to the back. Third 
And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 38-21, Terrapin. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.